everyone, my name is Cassandra Robinson and welcome to my new YouTube channel. This video is inspired by Soko Glam's 10-step Korean skincare routine, specifically for combination skin. And I decided to buy their kit over the holidays during Black Friday when it was like significantly discounted. I had been wanting to up my skincare game and add some things to my routine, so I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do that. So let's get started. I start out with putting my hair up with two hair ties because my hair is super thick. You can see me kind of struggling to get it up there. Then I will use a headband just to get my flyaways out of the way and make sure I don't have any product on my hair. The first step, we are going to use Beauty of Joseon Radiance Cleansing Balm. This is part of the double cleansing method. I like to get a small chunk of it and start working it onto my face. You can see I tend to push upwards with my hands, going against gravity, so it prevents premature sagging of the skin. Then I also work it onto my eyes as well because it's a great way to get off your mascara, any eyeshadow, it helps break down all the makeup on your eyes as well. So after that, I will go ahead and take a cotton ball and a cotton swab and take off the rest of my eye makeup before moving on to the next step. The next step, I'm going to use the Neogen Cranberry Fresh Foam Cleanser. I work it in, get off any remaining traces of my makeup, including my mascara. Again, working the lather upwards. Don't forget to get your neck as well. After that, Step three, we're going to use Dr. Oracle's Cosmetics Athera Peeling Stick. This is great for exfoliation. Some key ingredients in this solution is lactic acid, tea tree, and apple fruit extract, all of which help sloth off the dead skin cells that are on your skin and reveal a brighter glowing complexion. So you want to use this about once to twice a week. Step four is the Aquel Licorice pH Balance Cleansing Toner. We're going to give about two to three squirts on a cotton swab, cotton ball, and go ahead and again, make the movements upwards and get any remaining traces of your makeup that the cleansing balm and your face wash did not get. Step five is the Dewy Tree Ultra Vitalizing Snail Essence Water. This has a very watery texture and is an essentially water with some great ingredients like raspberry and cranberry and cherry fruit extract as well as, of course, snail secretion. This product is great for layering and actually infuses your skin with hydrating ingredients like the ones I mentioned and has a very lightweight texture. Step six, the plant-based Time Stop Collagen Ampoule is a serum that's formulated with rice ceramide and it instantly absorbs into the upper skin layers and enhances a protective barrier, which keeps out future irritants. I only use a couple drops, that's all that's needed, and again, use the upward circular motion to cover my entire face with this moisturizing serum. Step seven. So I'm using Neutrogena's Hydro Boost hydrating gel mask. And this mask is actually infused with hyaluronic acid, which is great for plumping and smoothing out your skin. 
and leave it on for about 15 to 30 minutes. During this time, I like to read or journal or do something relaxing. After 30 minutes have gone by, I take off the mask and massage any remaining product onto my face and neck to get the maximum benefit. Step eight is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream, which contains fermented ingredients well known in Korean skincare to help repair damaged skin and deeply hydrate the eye area. You definitely want to be gentler when applying this cream because the eye area is much more fragile and prone to the appearance of lines and wrinkles. So when the Applying the eye cream, you want, best want to dot around the eye area and then smooth it in gently. This cream is great because it contains ceramides and hyaluronic acid, which is great for pumping, as well as aloe to deeply hydrate your skin. Step nine. Next, I will use Dialba Piedmont's Peptide No Sebum Repair Cream. This is definitely a little heavier in texture and weight than the serum and contains some great natural ingredients like lavender, sunflower seed oil, rosemary, licorice root. So it also makes the cream smell nice as well. The last most important step is sunscreen. Even if it's foggy out or overcast, the sun is still out and those UVA, UVB rays are still being absorbed by your skin. So if you want to avoid premature aging, you definitely want to use sunscreen. If you have very fair skin like my husband, freckles, blonde hair, then you're going to want to use a higher SPF, for example, 50. I typically use 30, I think that's enough for me. Those who are all of have all of toned skin, then that is a strong enough, strong enough SPF. I am not a dermatologist, so putting that out there. This one has a lot of great ingredients, um, natural ingredients as well. So you're gonna put it on to have it on your skin. This UV cut sun cream by Aquel contains a lot of great ingredients as well, like turmeric root extract, rosewood, evening primrose, olive fruit oil, grapefruit, but also contains two mineral sunscreens, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. This is a great sunscreen if you know that you're going to be outside playing sports and also is waterproof. Don't forget to put sunscreen on to promote wrinkle-free skin and prevent premature aging. That is it, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me and let me know what your skincare routine looks like, how you overcome your skincare woes or acne. I would love to hear it. I think a lot of the work is also done inside with the food you eat and what you drink and what you put on your body, but this is the steps we can take on an external route. Until next time, thanks for watching.